Aaron Hightower, and I'm VP of Gaming Technology for Nanotech Entertainment. My previous experience is in both arcade and consumer games. So I've worked on arcade, console, and also in casino gaming, most recently for International Game Technology, the largest slot machine manufacturer in the world. At IGT, my specific role was in research for new technologies to enable the future of casino gambling. At Nanotech, I'm leveraging some of that research specifically into display technologies as well as advanced gameplay technologies for gambling and for, for arcade gaming. What brought me to Nanotech, so I've been researching display technology for some time now and a lot of it actually started back, I actually worked with uh, Nanotech's founder a few years ago on, on, on a project where we put LCD screens on some arcade games and we found that there were some issues with the LCD screens that we weren't seeing with the regular tubes. So that kind of started my career path towards display research. Um, and so that's something that I've been following through with since then. And it's ultimately led me here to Nanotech to push harder on display technology for games. Uh, the future of Nanotech, gaming for nano Nanotech, uh, I think really involves uh, a more competitive atmosphere, both for casino and arcade gaming. We're looking kind of at two different fronts. So one of the one of my area of expertise, in addition to display research, is, is competitive gaming. Okay, so both for casino gaming and for arcade gaming. So I worked previously for Atari Games back in 1999. When we released an arcade racing game. There was a very high frame rate, very action-oriented arcade racer. And one of the things that I learned there was the importance of display technology uh, when, when you're delivering an intense game experience. The display technology has to be spot on. And so I think the future for gaming and nanotech is really exciting because we're looking to push the technology to support the, game, the types of games which have kind of been absent for now for a number of years <laughs> since the in introduction of LCD screens for gaming. We're solving those technical problems and we're pushing really strong on future gaming to be able to enhance the gamer's experience through new technology.